What is going on everybody? So, just made it to, we're walking up to the Springfield Comic Con. Now, if you're a first time viewer, thank you. If you're returning, thank you so much. So today I have a media pass for the Springfield Comic Con. It is busy right now. You may not be able to tell from where I'm at, I'm having to walk up, but I'm excited. So let's see how this turns out. Okay, so there's two points of entry. You have this side, and this is where the Q&A is gonna be held. And then you have the main event center right here. And it is packed out here. Okay, so if there's no issues getting my pass, there wasn't last time, and I wouldn't expect it this time. So, let's see what's on the inside. Okay. Let's go, y'all. <laughs> okay, and this is what the inside of the main event center looks like. Downstairs portion. Right now, I'm waiting for the media pass. Shouldn't take too long. I mean, this place seems pretty massive so far, so I can't wait. Hopefully there's some actual vendors with some hot toys in here. That's kind of what I'm really interested in, but it seems like there's gonna be a lot of cosplayers today. Okay, so this is no issues, but they actually do not have them right here. They said I had to go to the other event center, which is fine, uh, just right across the street. Not too much of a hassle at all. If I don't get ran over, these people aren't stopping for the crosswalk. That's okay though. It is packed over here. And they said, just push through the crowd. So we're gonna do just that. I mean, look at this crowd, y'all. We got Lord Draken. I gotta open up that, that figure by three zero. You got Freddy Krueger up there. Okay, you know what? I was expecting this to be a really small Comic-Con, but turns out absolutely not the case. Okay, look at this crowd. So apparently I have to find a sign that says, bought my ticket online and then I will be helped. Not the cleanest process, but also, I don't want this to sound entitled, but I am not waiting in any of these lines. Perfect, just talk to this guy. He said go to the front, talk to Taylor, grab my pass. We'll get there, we'll get there. A few minutes, that's not too much of a worry for me. So, let's find Taylor. I think she'll be right up here, I guess. And we are moving along. Media Pass is secured. Now, let's figure out where we're going next. I don't think I stay in this building. I think I gotta go to the other one now. Okay, walking back to the other building and look, the crowd just keeps getting bigger. And the thing is, this is the line. These are people paying for tickets for today. Can't wait to actually get in the event center now because I only saw the top floor. And you know what? I don't know how big it is. The, the building looks massive though. All right, y'all, easy enough. I went through no issues. And... Okay, let's see what we're going to do first. Actually, I think the first thing I'm gonna do is find a restroom. All right, and here is what it looks like. 
pretty big center. You know what? I may do a lap by myself first. Just kind of check it out and enjoy this myself. But you know what? I'll stop along the way and film anything that, uh, that I think is actually fun for y'all, I guess. Okay, found the first booth. A lot of Black Series. A lot of NECA figures. We got some Trick or Treat Studios six scale figures. Some 3-0 some older sideshow pieces. Look at those Buffy pieces. And a lot of Funkos. Got some Cantina members. These are the Hasbro 12 inch figures. Now that's cool. Got Bosk. Sideshow pieces, gremlins. You know what, something I've never unboxed, I guess some of these Buffy figures. Okay, let's move on, thank you. We got our first celebrity, Arthur. This is a, a friend of Toy Quest 101, Miguel. Let's so and chat with him. Look at these Legos. Now, this isn't what I collect, but these are pretty awesome though. They have something for everything here. Honestly, if I could make a nice display with these, I would I would buy several of them. I mean, look at this. This is cool. It doesn't take up much space. Quite a bit cheaper than some hot toys. This is something Brick Artemis would love. We have some more art vendors right here. And everybody loves some good old mystery boxes with Funkos and plushies. Not my thing, but a lot of people love it. And the mystery box, that's kind of fun. We got some shirts. You know, I may snag up a shirt. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what the rest of this actually has for us. So I'm sure there's gonna be a lot more opportunities to buy something here soon. Okay, so I got to one end of this place and just realized there's another portion of it. I'm assuming more celebrity autograph panels over here. I won't be doing that. I know a lot of people love meeting celebrities and paying for autographs. I don't necessarily like for myself I'm not big into autographs. Uh, I see the appeal, but it's just not for me. So far guys, this has been a blast. And honestly, I, I, I keep not filming because I just keep engaging with people by myself. And honestly, I don't want to pull out a camera when I'm just talking to random people. Maybe that's one of those things I need to get over, but I don't know. Kind of just enjoying being in the moment. But I'll also capture as much as I can for everybody on here. Okay guys, I'm stopped at this booth. And boom, this is Patrick. Look how talented he is. He also gave me permission, I'm not just walking back here. But look at this, you all know, love me some Sam. I got him tattooed on my forearm. But look at this, how gorgeous is that? I got Freddie and Jason on my chest. Or the clown. Maybe the next one he'll have a Santa hat. That's a dude playing a dude pretending to be another dude. Awesome, Patrick. Thank you so much, man. No problem. Thank you. I'll catch you later. No worries. So when I sign this, you The man right there. And something for those Pokemon fans out there. You know what, I used to collect Pokemon, loved it, played all the Game Boy games, but Yu-Gi-Oh, that, that was my love. Collect all the cards. You know what, going back to collecting Yu-Gi-Oh cards, that's something I keep wanting to do, but I keep talking myself out of it because I don't know what I'll do with the cards, honestly. 
hopefully I can start playing again. I used to love playing, me and my brother AJ. We played all the time. Okay, found some some Black Series and some Star Wars three and three quarter figures. Another booth, let's take a look. A lot of Funko Pops. Nowadays, actually, I don't even know what I'm looking at with Funkos. Um, I just know the characters that I like. Actually, it's always pretty neat seeing something I really love, like the movie 300. In an action figure format, that's awesome. I would actually love a Hot Toys version of King Leonidas in a collection. You know what? I still have several of these DC collectibles. And I kept all my McFarlane figures, or at least most of them. Uh, I don't know why I haven't gotten rid of those, but I got rid of all the Marvel Legends besides like my HasLab Sentinels. But I really like the McFarlane figures. These displays, not too shabby. You know guys, I found another booth. And the more and more I look at these, the more and more I love them. Look at this! You get to have an entire Simpsons verse. Look at all the troopers, the Jedi, we got Bo Katan, good old Mando. Hell, we got Martian Manhunter, Batman, Robin, Batman Who Laughs. Like, you have everything. Old Spawn. This is a fun, cheap way to grab a lot of characters for representation in your collection. Great stuff. I may be adding some of this to the collection at some point. I'm thinking about it. Little break of my end, guys. You know what? I I need to find an energy drink. I don't know about you guys, but I love me some monsters. So they are handing some out somewhere. So I'm taking this as a little break to kind of get it out of the convention center because it's hot. And get my chance to kind of walk around over here so try and guess in the comments what flavor i'm gonna get before i grab it those who know me carlos you may know what i tend to typically grab but we'll see this has been it's been a really fun con so far so came to this one by myself this is actually the first con i've gone to by myself and honestly i've really really enjoyed it um, more so because I'm trying to capture content for it. So, uh, I don't, I don't feel like Rachel obviously would have came with me. She would have, but it was two hours here, drive time, two hours back. And then I just didn't want her waiting around on me while I'm just standing there filming or just talking, but she would have because she loves me, but I love her enough not to, uh, waste her entire Saturday, you know, but it's been enjoyable doing it by myself. Okay, monster time. Okay, so if you guessed sugar-free white monster, then you were right. Okay, so it actually took a moment to find this. It was uh, upstairs in another area, which is fantastic. Sorry, it's fantastic. So I found another area and it's massive, but one place at a time. We'll get to this later in the vlog. Also, we got good old Freddy and Jason. They're standing guard. Once again, we are in the celebrity portion of this. Look at this line for Sean Astin. We also got Kane right here. Hopefully, you guys can hear me. I should probably get like a road mic going forward, but we got Kane right there. We have Kurt Angle on this end got to see him oh there he is got to see him and he said hi to me <laughs> I think it's awesome that Kurt Angle said hi to me but that's kind of it on this floor I'm not gonna stand in any line right now but we're gonna go up these stairs and see what is going on up there. It's kind of it. This is the main floor right there. 
Let's go. And here is the new floor. Awesome, mental, awareness, mental wellness and suicide prevention. Obviously always a very positive thing. Got a lot of Lego sets. You know what? Let's look at some of these. Look how brilliant this is. We got the Iron Giant fighting Mecha Godzilla. And I finally get to see these in person. The Daily Bugle with Avengers Tower. We got Thor up there. Look at this. The Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. And then there is Slimer. Let's see if I can get to it. Let's see. Thank you. Ah, look how brilliant that is. We have the Dead Strange Hot Toys. Is this the Rev? Oh no, this is the Hot Toys Buzz Lightyear. This comes in today for me. I had Wrecker come in yesterday. We got Quarter Scale NECA Arkham Knight. And a bunch of sabers. Great, I need to start collecting some of these. Let's see. And a quarter scale Boba Fett, and we got the repainted Boba Fett from the Book of Boba Fett. Not my favorite. I actually like the two pack more than this one. And then Boba on base. I think that one is my favorite. Granted, I don't have it yet, but I pretty much just want the base. So I'm sure I'll be able to snag that up here soon. If anybody wants to sell me the, uh, the base, or the throne, that'd be fantastic. Y'all know I'm a big Yu-Gi-Oh fan. Oh, we got Cad Bane hiding right here. Just opened this up last week. The fact they have an arcade section, this is cool. That is fun. <laughs> we got some Ecto-1 action. Look how brilliant this is. Oh, sorry. Okay. Big old Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Y'all, it actually feels really nice right here because it's rather cold out, but it's a lot cooler right here. Okay. Boom. We have the Impala from Supernatural. One of my favorite shows. Look at this, I did get permission. They were super awesome. It doesn't get a whole lot better. I don't want to get in his shot. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. We got the Colt. Ah. Awesome. Thank y'all. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of the vlog. My time here at the Springfield, Missouri Comic Con. Now, I don't know if I got everything I wanted to in this. I apologize. I'm trying to balance me actually having a lot of fun and then recording everything. Whatever else you want to see in the future, let me know. But thank you so much if you actually watched the entire thing. And even if not, I understand. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all the typical YouTube stuff. And until next time, I'm out.